I'm standing next to a canvas back nest in southwest Manitoba uh, near the town of Menidosa. This is classic canvasback breeding habitat. I'm in a wetland, which is exactly where canvasbacks nest. This is a can nest. It happens to have a bunch of redhead eggs in it. But the diving ducks, canvasbacks, redheads, ruddy ducks, ringnecks, scop, they tend to nest over water. They build their nest out of cattail in these ponds that have thick cattail or bulrush and the nest is built over the water. That's the reason finding these nests is very difficult. Basically, you have to have an army of assistants out here walking through this vegetation and you literally find the nest. This is not like dabbling duck work. The focus of this work is to test predator management. Will predator management work for the diving ducks? We've done 20 years of work on dabbling ducks in a variety of habitats from Saskatchewan to North Dakota, and we know predator management works to improve hatch rates for dabblers like mallards and pintails and teal. But we've never tested it for canvasback, so we're in the second year of the project. Things are going great. We have a great crew out here. They found over 550 nests before mid-June, which is a record for canvasbacks and, and other divers. So, so we'll get plenty of good data to test whether predator management works, and that's our goal, to, to find a way to improve duck production for the diving ducks Divers are completely ignored by uh, waterfowl management. There's no management technique to improve success rates for divers like there are for dabbling ducks. So that's why this project is very important.